Hi, Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're going to be going over the AY McDonald 8500 series shallow well jet pumps. These are an excellent pump for residential shallow wells, cisterns, or transfer pumping, irrigation, and residential lake water systems. That's a lot, which is something that is pretty common in a lot of rural areas. Uh, nice thing about these pumps, they can also be used as a light booster pump as well. This pump has two discharge ports available, one three quarter inch and one one inch. The one inch is on the top, the three quarter inch is on the side here. The suction end of this hose or the inlet is an inch and a quarter. This pump features an engineered thermoplastic glass fiber reinforced impeller. It comes standard with a stainless steel hub on the three quarter and one horsepower models. The impeller is matched with a multi-volute engineered thermoplastic diffuser for maximum capacity and pressure. Lead-free impellers are also available for more abrasive and corrosive resistance. The pump body has a certified lead-free cast iron construction and motor mount. This means that the wetted surfaces contain less than one quarter of 1% lead. Because of the relatively high silicon content, cast iron has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation, such as rust and corrosion. In addition to the pump's natural ability to resist corrosion just based on the construction materials, they've also applied a robust paint which is going to increase the chemical resistance of this pump and allow it to hold up in typical weather conditions. This pump can operate in ambient temperatures up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if the pump's motor were to overheat, the automatic thermal overload would trip and bring the motor offline until it was sufficiently cool. Now, great care must be used when selecting a location for these pumps because in some areas, 104 degrees isn't all that hard to come by. The best approach is to avoid direct sunlight. Furthermore, freezing temperatures should be avoided with this pump. If you're in an environment where the pump can experience sub-freezing temperatures, be sure to check out our video on winterizing a jet pump. We're going to feature that in the description below. The 8500 series jet pumps have a maximum suction lift of 25 feet and are available in either a high capacity or high pressure configuration. The matched nozzle and venturi or jet ejector are both composed of a non-distorting polycarbonate with excellent heat resistance. The one horsepower high capacity models are capable of producing up to about 24 gallons per minute at five foot of suction head but are limited to a maximum shutoff pressure of 64 PSI. At 25 foot of suction lift, the maximum flow rating of this pump is 12 gallons per minute and the pressure remains the same. These pumps are ideal for applications that have a plentiful water source and that have a low total dynamic head requirement, preferably under 35 feet total. The high pressure models are able to produce up to 80 PSI, but are limited to about 13 gallons a minute at just five foot of suction lift. At 25 foot of suction lift, they will produce about six gallons per minute maximum. The high pressure configuration are most common in applications where a higher pressure is needed. The additional 16 PSI that the high pressure model can produce get you an extra 37 feet ahead. The adjustable pressure switch has been factory preset to 2040 PSI for the one third and one half horsepower models. For the three quarter and one horsepower models, you can expect a 3050 pressure setting on the pressure switch. These are adjustable pressure switches and if you have any questions on how to adjust that, check out the video in the description below for a link. The motors on all of these pumps are single phase, open drip proof type motors, or ODP as they're commonly referred to, and run at a constant 3500 RPM. They come standard in a dual voltage configuration, meaning that you can easily switch the pump from 115 to 230 volt. The motor of this pump comes with ball bearings and a standard 5 8 inch ceramic carbon rotating mechanical seal. Many of the components on these pumps can be replaced, which allows you to get the most out of your investment. As with every AY McDonald jet pump, these are assembled in the USA and 100% tested prior to leaving the factory. If you ever need help sizing a pump, check out the other videos on our channel. And as always, our customer service department is standing by to answer your questions. To learn more about the 8500 series or to review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions on what we covered, leave those in the comments below. 
Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more great content. We'll see you next time.